have to remove both screws. The sleeve would come off. Just like so. And I can tell you that this looks like the real thing. You can see the holes down here in the bottom part. <clears throat> Those are for the airlines. So they used a real shifter knob and as you can see that cable coming out, that's a USB cable. Now I can see that that hole right there is where one of the screws went and in the back side there is another hole where the other screw goes. The shifter fits in here like so. Oh by the way inside here I don't know if you can see there is a there is a plastic sleeve which makes it for a snug fit into this uh, Logitech shifter but the problem is you can you can do the uh, H pattern with it no problem the problem is when you try to um, not the range so much because it goes up and down but when you let me turn this around and you try to shift with the splitter you gotta make a lateral force on the knob and then it turns see that the, it's a snug fit but not a snug enough to uh, prevent it from rotating so uh, what we need to do to fix it is probably put a longer screw in the back here and in the front the screws that are holding the, uh, the sleeve need to go all the way through to uh, to the shaft from the splitter from the uh, I'm sorry from the shifter from the Logitech uh, shifter to prevent it from rotating okay let's see what I can do about that you can see the hole for the back screw is right there and the front screw is right there so what I'm going to measure is how long in the screw needs to be in order to go all the way through to the shaft. Alright, to get all the way through, it needs to be about, well it's hard to see in my camera, but that's about 5 8 So here we go. I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I drilled through the front and the back and I used the same uh, size, um, a, a number six, same thickness because as I said before there isn't much meat to drill through so I, I was afraid I was going to break it if I used anything thicker like a number eight for instance. So I used a number six by 5 eighths long and this is the end result now I can shift it or do the splitter and the uh, and the knob does not rotate it's firmly in place of course my shift is not attached to anything it's kind of hard to demonstrate I'll show you once I connect to the PC let me say now I did drill through uh, the shaft of the shifter as you can see and the screw from the back now goes in it's kind of hard to aim the light differently the screw from the uh, back of the shifter now goes through the shaft of the um, Logitech shifter and that prevents it from rotating well hello YouTube today I'm here with something new American truck simulator and an SKRS shifter this is the input wizard where we select what type of transmission 
we have, we're gonna select H shifter with a range and a splitter. We need to do this so our uh, shift knob uh, functions. In addition to that, we need to go back into the controls and assign buttons for the range and for the splitter. You do that by clicking uh, controls. Make sure that you have, in, our, in my case, I have the, the, the G27 wheel and the Blueberry Joy is the uh, shift splitter. Now we need to assign the range when I, the type of transmission I'm going to be using in my case, I chose 13 speed and the shifter layout behavior we want to advance. Now we need to check the shifter toggles uses a switch mode to make sure that it functions correctly. So we tick the box for that and then there's two buttons, the, the range and we're going to assign it to joy number two by activating the button and then there's a range uh, actually the first one was the range this is a splitter and we activate it and it also says buttons here on joy 2 but it works second gear third gear fourth. I put the range up and when I shift I'm in five low and this is a splitter five high. I take it into neutral I, I put the splitter back to low going to six low then I change the splitter up to six high. As I shift to seventh gear, I put it in neutral, put the splitter back to, to low, and I'm in seven low. Seven high. As I go out of seven high, and I hit neutral, I change the, the splitter to low, and I'm in eight low. And then eight high. Let's take it for a spin and see uh, what we get. Wrench too low. We're in first gear. Let's get rolling. I want to try to float the gear, see what happens. wasn't good. Second.